Hello, everyone. How are you all? Hope you're all doing well. Um, so one common question that I get a lot from most of my students or participants is, what is the difference between index and rank? There's a little confusion on this concept. So I'll try to clarify it here. Index basically tells you about the position of a member in a partition. Rank also does the same. Then what's the difference between the two? Index will tell you mostly about the physical position. Okay, imagine there are a few people standing in a queue and you're supposed to assign them a number. Now, I will give a number one to the person who's at the in the front of the queue, to the first person in the front. And the person behind him would get number two. And the person behind him, number three. So when you assign a number based on where they stand in that queue, that is index. Whereas if I assign a number to these members based on their performance, let's say the member who's uh, generating the highest profit is given a number one and the person next to him with respect to profit would get a number two. A person who's making slightly lesser profit than that, number three. That would be called rank. Okay, we are not giving them a number based on where they stand in the queue. We are giving them a number based on how they perform. Okay. Index tells about the position of a member in a partition. Whereas rank will also tell about the position. However, it is based on the performance. Based on the measure value on which we would be evaluating their performance. So let's try to understand this with one example. I'm going to take, uh, I'll be using subcategory from Superstore and I would use region dimension. These are the dimensions. And I would like to check the profit. Okay, here's the profit. Now, we are looking at the profit generated by each subcategory across different regions. So if I look at accessories, best performance of accessories is in the West region, the most profitable one. Followed by that, we have East, then we have central and south. So if I were to give a rank, okay, let me, I've already created the calculated field, rank. So rank is written like this. Rank is based on the expression that you give here. So the expression is sum of profit, meaning I would like to give a rank to these members based on their uh, profit performance. Okay. Now, if I take this into the table, you will notice how the ranks are given. One assigned to West region, two is assigned to East, three to Central and four to South. That is under accessories. Similarly, under appliances, look at the performance based on which the numbers are assigned. A rank is assigned. Okay. Now, if I, if I were to check the index, so index is written like this just the function index and empty parenthesis. We don't have to give any expression over there. So it's as simple as typing index, that's it. There is no expression that is necessary to be given. Now, when I use index in this table, notice how index is simply assigning a number based on the position of each member in the partition. Now, what is a partition? By default, all computations go table across. So here, each row is a partition. Table across meaning it's working with data present in each row. So one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. That is how it is. Now I'm going to change the partitioning. Okay, I'm going to ask it to consider each column to be a partition rather than a row. I'm asking Tableau to take each column as a partition. So I'll have to change the compute using option to table down. Now let me remove profit and rank and show you what it looks like. Table down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to the number 17. Based on the position of the member in that column, a number is being assigned to each member. Now let's bring back profit and rank. I'll change the compute using option, the addressing to table down for rank as well. Now what would happen is, Rank is computed along table down, meaning it's now looking at data present in each column and assigning a rank based on the performance of the subcategories under that column. So we can notice that copiers, which is the most profitable member, has been given a rank of one. 
And if you scroll down here, we have rank two assigned to phones, which is the second most profitable member. Okay. So rank is based on the performance. Rank three is given to accessories. And then if I go down, rank four is given to paper, the most profitable, like followed by accessories. Okay. So this is about, uh, so I hope you all understood the difference between rank and index. Rank is based on the performance. Index is based on the position. Now, if you have any doubt in your mind regarding the addressing concept, I shall give you one quick tip over here, which I think uh, would be very helpful to decide on the addressing part. Okay. Here, let's say this is the structure of my table, the data that I'm looking at, and I'll make it entire view. You take this as a quick tip on the concept of addressing or the compute using option. Okay, how do you use it? I'm going to use the index calculated field here. We know that by default, it goes table across. Okay, let me open the edit table calculation window and show you. Look at that, table across meaning, how is Tableau partitioning the data? When we say table across, it just works with data present in each row. So one, two, three, four, the, the position is determined based on row, row wise position. Okay, again, when I move to the second row, it restarts at one, two, three, four, so on. If we say table down, you can notice that whatever formula you create will work with data present per column. If I say table across, then down. So it just grows across, then moves down. Goes across, then moves down. Like that, we have n number of options to choose from, table down, then across, the calculation does not break here. It just continues. It continues to the next column. After coming here, it continues to the next column. Down, and then it is moving across. Pane across means it works with data present in individual panes. Pane down meaning it works with column-wise pane data. So, 1, 2, 3. And when I go to the next pane east, it is again 1, 2, 3. And when I go to the next pane south, again it is 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, sometimes, even after having so many different options, we may not be able to achieve what we are looking for. In such cases, you can even choose specific dimensions and choose exactly at what level of detail you might want to compute. So if I use year in this case, this will be the partition. Tableau will take one data point from here, the next data point from here, the next data point from here, and the next data point from here. And it will work with that data. Apply your formula on that partition. So this is one partition now. The random one, two, three, four numbers that you're looking at is a partition. And that is the amount of data on which your formula will work. Okay, now let me show you an example and apply this. Let's say my requirement is to see um, the profit of these members, okay, across different years. Let's let's just keep it by year. Now, I would like to get, oh, let me take sales instead, okay? I would like to see year over year uh, difference, okay, in the sales, year over year difference. So, I'll simply apply quick table calculation, year over year growth. What is the amount of growth? Growth percentage is what we will get. So, this is year over year growth. Let me put the actual sales also. So from 2019, okay, it goes like this. From 2000, from if you look at the performance, if you look at 2022 and compare its performance against 21, from here to here, there's a 43% growth that we can notice. From here to here, there's a 3% growth. And from here to here, there's 62% growth. Okay, so what is a partition now? This is a partition. This row is a partition. This row is a partition. And we are looking at the growth. If I change the compute using to table down, to table down, it goes like this. It's comparing the performance of each subcategory against the other. So when I do appliances and compare it with accessories, the sales of appliances is only 15,000. Accessories is 25. So definitely there is a decline. The growth is negative. Then art to appliances, 60% negative growth. Binders to art, this quite a significant growth. Okay, 
We generally don't do this. I'm just showing you what happens when you do table down. It goes column wise, table across goes rows, row wise. This is year over year growth. What if I might want to see quarter over quarter growth? All I need to do is drill down. now. And the moment I drill it down to quarter level, it's showing us quarter over quarter growth. So um, Q1, there is nothing before it to compare it. That's null. Q2 to Q1, the growth is 27%. Q3 to Q2, the growth is 97%. And Q4 to Q3, that is basically from here to here. Q3 to Q4, 34% growth. It doesn't stop there, it continues. When we look at the growth from quarter four of 2019, compare it with quarter one of 2020, again, there's a decline by 69%. Now, I don't want this to happen. I just want Tableau to work with data present in each year and look at the quarter over quarter growth per year. Let's not take the performance of Q4 from the previous year and check it against quarter one of the current year. This should not happen. Each year should be considered as an independent uh, entity. Okay. And the previous year's data should not impact this one. This is again independent by itself. Let's compare the quarter over quarter growth in 2020 alone. In 2021 separately. Again, 2020's Q4 should not be compared with 2021's Q1. Now, how do we achieve this kind of a thing? Okay. How can we make it stop? at each year and not continue into the next year. So we are talking about changing it to pain across. When I make it pain across, you can notice how year over year growth, sorry, quarter over quarter growth per year within this year. And when I come to 2020, it's again new. The previous year's data is not being considered. So I have nothing to compare this particular number with. From here to here, it's 46%. Here to here, it's 160%. And here to here, it is 73%. Then here, I'm not comparing it with what happened in the previous year. This is completely new again. So it is null. I hope you got the point. So pain across can help you in such scenarios. Now, what if I just want corresponding quarters um, difference? Okay, meaning I would like to compare Q1 from 2020 with Q1 of 2019. This... 20 uh, Q1 with this Q1 corresponding quarters or if I want to compare quarter two from here with quarter two from here then quarter two from here with quarter two from here so on quarter two from here with quarter two from here now how do we achieve that kind of a thing how do we make a partition so random that we get corresponding quarters difference and check the growth now Going pane across, which will work with the entire row, or pane down, which works with the entire column, is not going to help. Even pane across will not help because it's not all the data in a pane that we are talking about. We are talking about this kind of data, right? All the quarter twos from across all the years, quarter threes from across all the years, quarter fours from across all the years. How do I make a random partition like that? This is where you can edit the table calculation and check which one will help. Would table across help? No. Would table down help? No. Across then down, down then across, pain across, pain down. None of them are helping us. So we go with specific dimensions and I'll go by year. Now look at the partition. This is exactly what we wanted, isn't it? We wanted quarter one, quarter one, quarter one and quarter one to be brought together and the growth computed and we achieved it. So I hope you all are able to understand and appreciate this particular tip. It will help you, um, you know, um, decide on how to apply the formula, on how much amount to apply the formula based on the requirement given to you. So when in doubt, what I have done and what I suggest that uh, to my students is when in doubt on what should be the partition, how should I partition my data, just revisit this tip. Create it, create this chart and apply all sorts of things and you will definitely be able to understand which combination or which compute using option will help you achieve your requirement. So here we managed it, right? Quarter one to quarter one, the growth is 3% from here to here. And from here to here, the growth is 55%. And from here to here, the growth is 
74%. Okay, similarly, corresponding quarter twos, 4,600 and 7,200 growth is 57%. This to this, the growth is 48%. All right. So thank you all so much. I hope it was helpful. If you have liked it and if you found it useful, please do like the video, share it with your friends and um, please do continue giving me your support like this. Thank you all so much. All the best to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.